Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript front-end web tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to insert a new text box values, add a text box values dynamically into a drop-down list using a button click JavaScript event. So let's start the tutorial. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice the text box values add into a drop down with a button click. At this moment, that uh, drop down list is empty. Now let's enter Charan and I click button control. Notice here we got Charan. If I enter James, click here we got James. Now Peter, enter, we got Peter. Let's add Khan, enter, here we got Khan. For this video tutorial, I am using Visual Studio Code. First, let's open our folder which is a JavaScript iPhone tutorials. And here it is, our folder is added to the VS Explorer. Let me expand this folder. Now, inside this folder, I am adding one new uh, text HTML file called text box values drop down list ddl.htm. And here we got the newly created HTML file. Now let me minimize this explorer as well as the welcome page I'm closing which we don't require. Now let's start the coding part. First I'm defining the doc type HTML. Let's close the HTML element. In the header section I'm adding the basic HTML elements which we require body element. Now inside this body I'm adding one center element center h1 h1 Mm, let's close the h1 tag text box values add into a drop down drop down with button click with button click after that i'm adding one horizontal line then first i require one input type which is a text box text and placeholder i'm adding placeholder enter a value let's close the text box after that i'm adding one button element button element on click event on click event which is the uh, event will write add to drop down drop down drop down which is the function and so we have to add function let's add an arrow symbol for the label ampersand right arrow arr arrow semicolon after that i am adding one select option element select uh, options we will get dynamically from the text box control so id is equals to drop down drop down that's it we have done the designing part now we require the script functionality uh, script functionality after the center tag below the body i'm adding a script script function the function name is this this one add to drop down add to drop down and um, document dot get element by id get element by id which is this one drop down first let's add the drop down once a user click i want to this is not the function this is the drop down select element drop down in the next one variable value now we need to enter the values from the text box so here i require id is equals to some text box this id we require so id text box dot value dot trim 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 now the condition here is if if value 
is equals to empty if the text box value is empty if a user clicks the button control i don't want to insert the empty values to the drop down so return return now the logic variable option is equals to document um, document dot create element we need to create the element which is the option i'm creating the options once we user enters the values we will create the option then option dot text is equals to value option dot value is equals to value now the next step we need to append those values to the drop down so drop down what is the drop down id this is the drop down id so drop down um, drop down dot add this is a drop down no drop down dot add option after that we need to clear the text box so the text box is this one txt text box so text box dot clear that's it we have done the javascript functionality now we require some styles to these uh, um, elements first we require the input the input border radius i am adding for the text box border radius so we need to add the style first style copy this one style border um, border radius border radius 15 pixels padding is 10 pixels next we require the button also i want to add the button border radius border radius 50 pixels so it will the button's shape will be rounded shape font size is is 25 pixels let's add the text color is uh, some azure background color of the text uh, button control is uh, let's add the black border border two pixels solid and uh, <clears throat> let's add the blue blue violet and what else we have the select option element let's add the select also select and as well as the option also i'm adding the same thing border border top radius top left radius is uh, 15 pixels uh, border border top right radius is uh, 15 pixels border 3 pixels solid red text align center and padding i am adding around 3 pixels let's add the 5 pixels uh, that's it we have done the complete coding part now we have to save this file we'll check the final output of our application save this application now we'll check the final output open file explorer the folder i have created in the e drive which is a javascript iphone tutorial the folder name is and uh, text box values drop down ddl this is the file name let's open that one and here we got the final output of our application notice the text box values add into a drop down with a button click at this moment that uh, drop down list is empty now let's enter charan and i click button control notice here we got charan if i enter james click here we got james now peter enter we got peter let's add con enter here we got con that's it in this video tutorial i have explained 
how to insert or add new text box values dynamically with a button control uh, into a drop down list thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial